all right what is up YouTube all right so this is part two of the video I want to just pretty much um, hurry up and record this because death Pro is updating and you know after the updates a lot of their replays replays crashes so this is part two let me just hurry up and get this out of the way I don't want it all the replays crash because I still do got about eight to ten more replays to show you guys so Without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, so as you see, we are going against Yang Zing. And you know, the hand is all right. Like you see, like it's OTK potential in the hand, but then he saw them strike. So I don't have, since this is a light, unfortunately, I do not have any other place to do with our right right now, nothing. So pretty much I'm just sitting a duck. And then, so the fact that he is setting monsters it's really just a surprise to me and as you can see this Lord helped me get into that and so I mean this Lord helped me draw what drawn to a dealings and I think of another Lord yet yeah, that all my oh, it, no I forgot what else I drew I probably drew I don't know whatever I just I didn't see it so <laughs> anyways use the Lord then use dealings to get the circles engraved and this card is key to being engraved because I can ditch two cards out of my hand meaning I can get this engraved, all the cards I can I can use and get engraved. So right here, bam, use that. Send the cow cab so I can return this. And now I'm free to do whatever I want. Here we go with the miss. Mid, mid's going to add the what's the name and hold on real quick. Alright, so we are back. I had a suspicion I was playing Yang Zing, but I was like, ah, let me not go for a uh, dweller. So in hindsight, I mean I do the Zephyr play, which is smart. Bam. You can get the grace. Go to another Beatrice because the whole point of the deck is Beatrice. So right now, bam, go to a Charge Warrior. That can then go to an Omega. So instead of going um, Dweller, I decided to go Omega and double Beatrice. It was it the better play? Uh, we'll find out. So here he goes. As you can see, I activate Omega on that. He Dark Holds, and then here's with a double Beatrice, and then here's where I mess up. I sent the Farfa because. In my mind, these were going basically Farfu. He, he's going to bring these out, and then Farfu is going to banish one of them. Well, I mean, I don't have to tell you guys pretty much how chain links work, but since there's no monster on the field, Farfu will not activate or even attempt to activate because there's nothing to banish. So I messed up right there, and then lost the key card of the deck. And that was another reason why I would love to play more than two Farfu. And then right here, right here, um, if you guys didn't know, Box is target. And these can't be targeted. So, what would have happened? Uh, he was going to just return these two to the deck, and that would have been game. So let's get on to game, not game two, but duel two. And as you can see, I'm going against the new gadgets. And once again, I have drawn pretty much good. And then I messed up right there because once again, if you do not read your cards, I mean no, not that. If once, I mean not once again, but always read your cards. This says I cannot send Fable Focus for his effect, so that's why I had to ditch the Lord of Darkness. Pretty upset about that, but you know what? It's okay. And then once again, I make that again mistake thinking I was going to be able to drop another Beatrice, but once again, you cannot use two Sokas. So right here, he goes, here get X, and then as soon as he goes to that, I said, you know what, fuck it, let me just go ahead and Farfa. Let's not get him even started. And then also, once again, it is a cost. I mean, not once again. Why you say once again? It, it is a cost, so none of that works. Send a plague, stack for plague, because we don't want another soul is dead in our hand. Go to an Omega, he bought me, so we change Omega, we get rid of it. So, all in all, we're doing pretty good. What does he have? Say he has a call of Huntington, so at any time he can just go off. Right here, I think, yeah, Hubert Gekin. Get the Dante out, we're all fine, so. Here we go, we get the what's your name back, and that's where uh, we draw this, which doesn't do anything. So instead of setting it, we keep it on the hand for Sokus the next turn. Right here, he goes gold, you got in faith, so we cannot use Omega, so draws into a strike. So here he goes, activate the green gadget. I do not want to hit a gadget, so I do that. And once again, I forget, I don't know why, that this young man did not go into a Trishula. I do not know why, but I guess he wanted to go to Topia Lightning because he does play more. Um, he does play um, Chaos Utopia, so that's pretty much you can use this effect twice. I don't blame him. 
and whatnot. So I take a leap of faith with Lord Darkness and we hit right. So the reason why I got the Farfetch, as you can see, so I can get that off the board. Go into another Beatrice. Beatrice in that. Get the play spreader out. Um, I just did that so Omega can get something back. Really wasn't trying to do anything. And here we go. He messed up right here. Well, he doesn't really mess up. There's nothing really else he could do. So, oh, this is exactly what I want to play because he could just kill this. And I'm pretty sure. Oh, I do have a Dante. I, pretty much, I was putting the thought. I was trying to put the thought in his head that um, I don't have anything else for Beatrice. That's why I summoned this. So you'd be like, okay, well, he can attack and attack and then beat him. But uh, I believe he doesn't attack. Does he? No, he does not attack into it. I don't know why. Don't ask me why he doesn't. He just doesn't attack into it. So pretty much right. Oh, yeah. I knew he had a strike. So pretty much right here, since I knew he had a strike, I wanted him to strike the Beatrice. And it really, to be honest with you, since he does not know the deck, the smart thing was to strike because I could have sent the dragon and popped it for free. And then, like, it would be pointless not to strike. So he did the good things, but I do play, um, I believe, what, yeah, that was the second Dante. And right here, I, act, I didn't even know this was the exact game, but I ended up attacking for exact game just because of that strike. So if he didn't strike, he might have came back. What was the next card? Instant Fusion? Probably would have came back in. But let's go and get to the next one. All right, so now we're going to jump against Pepe, as you can see, and... The, th the thing you do here in the background is a um, is my cooler. It is 100 and something damn degrees out here, so it is it's very hot. So excuse me for that, but <clears throat> um, that needed to be played. Uh, so turn one, he could have dropped this if he wanted to by just activating either one of these. I do not understand why he didn't. I guess he was just feel I guess he didn't want to really reveal too much, or I, I really don't know the case. I mean. I probably would have dropped the Karen because Karen is just ridiculous as a card. So, since I hate Karen, I said, you know what? I have to OTK him. So, I did not want to allure because worst case scenario, I'm gonna have to banish the Dark Rifle. And then if I banish Dark Rifle, if I don't draw into anything, I pretty much lose, but I can't win with this hand. I have to go off. All right, so pretty much my goal is to drop double Beatrice and a Utopia, uh, Utopia Future, or just a Beatrice and Utopia. Uh, what is it? What is it called? The Utopia. What is it? I don't know why I'm saying Utopia Future. Utopia Beyond. There you go. So that's my whole plan because you cannot target Magic Specter cards or destroy them. So you have to kill them just by battle, non-targeting effects, and what the case may be. So as you can see, thanks to Butterfly, thanks to Butterfly, all I need right now is like another, just another Dark really thanks to butterfly I once again am able to do it drew into the hand destruction and so now it's on the play is on I, I can't stop now I have to go for it so once again I do that play where I search the alley so I'm pretty much free for what's the name now go six banish that sink into a charge warrior charge warrior draw stable soap is oh so good of a card so good of a card pretty much gives me my game um, Go to another Beatrice, send the ill blood, go for the ill blood, exceed for Utopia Beyond, and that is 8,000 directly. And that's what you can do with this deck. You can get OTK very fast, and this is why the butterfly is needed because that is an extra level six to just that's it's a free level six, one card level six, and there's it, that's just pretty good. All right, so now we're going up against Raid Raptors, and I believe we are starting first in decent hand. A lot of Beatrice is going to be summoned. Probably two Beatrice. Yeah, two Beatrice are going to be summoned. I'm sending Zephyros. Bounce that. My standard play. Do that once again. Search out the Mali because it's, a, it's just a it's just a free play. I'm not, I'm not going to say it again because it's getting low. What's the name? Drawn to the other one, but you know what? That's fine. Everything is peachy. Double Beatrice, Dark Griper, and we have next turn plays. We all even have a Socus, so it's guaranteed a Beatrice next turn. But if he does have back row, there's nothing we can do about that. So right here, he summons the monster. Parfa is just activated. I do not know why he quit or why the replay ended. Hold on, let me see if this, I believe the duel going on longer than this, but hold on, let me see. No, so it turned out that was not the case. That was the end of the video. So right here, 
who you see we are going against Kaiju Kratos and once again the primitive butterfly pretty much gives me my target and once again see that's a strike or not to strike because if he strikes I don't get the Armageddon Knight off and my play complete actually my play doesn't stop but I mean that's the whole case you know this is why I use this effect so I can bait out the strike if I can bait out the strike then you know I can, get, I can just continue doing my plays that's pretty much I just want to bait out any type of back row on this I'd rather have them strike or warning or effect bait with this than Armageddon Knight because with Armageddon Knight I can do way more plays than I can do with just you know a primitive butterfly like this card is good it's, it's good for baiting it's good for helping you go and once again i have two level sixes and a mally at full strength so that's automatic double beatrice and pretty much whatever you want to do so here we go like i said if you have the you have to you just have the uh otk ability just like on deck all you need is really a butterfly and a mally and you, you know most of your you're going to get an otk going um this deck can really OTK easily. It uh, it just is it's fluent. I don't even think that's the right word. I'm not, I I don't even think fluent's the right word. I think that's I don't know. But let's just get to it. All right. Uh, what what's going on? All right. So I guess that uh, this just stops. Up oh, there it goes. Um, as you can see, like the updates already. What's the name? Uh, messing up the game. So like I said, um. You know, you, you can really OTK very easy in this deck. And like, I'm telling you, Primitive Butterfly. I did not draw Primitive Butterfly. I think I did. Nope. All right, we got that going. All right, bam, here we go. There we go, Primitive Butterfly. All right, so once again, like I said, this card is just so good in this deck. It's unbelievable. It, get, it gets everything going. Farfoot Banish, and like I said, when you got two level sixes and a Mali at full power in Grave, that's game. It's pretty much game. I haven't even normal summon yet. Like this, this game's over. Didn't even need to number. I did need to normal summon. This, yeah, this game's over. Like it's, this primitive butterfly really helps the deck out so much. I'm telling you, man. That, that, that just really like that would really put the deck over primitive butterfly. But as you can see, everything just pretty much working. Like everything goes together. The far forget. Like see, this is exactly why I want two far for because sometimes you have to use far for early game. And if I did not be was able to OTK, I still had another Farfa for my Beatrice um, sent. So I believe there's excuse me two two more replays after this, and then that'd be the end of it. All right, so now we're going against um, Madolches, and we're going first. So you know we're going to go all out, and once again, like I said, it's just, this combo is, is always it's, it's just so good. Anyways, so here I'm just setting up my graveyard because I know. That pretty much, like I said, I can just do whatever I want. Right now, I got a whole next turn play going. And then, like, if he can't do anything, oh, this, 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 this is just perfect. Let me just keep playing it and get to the where I got to find it. All right, so right here, he kills the mathematician. That's another reason why mathematician is good. Um, draw extra cards. So, bam, in phase. Like, bam, he has two set. I mean, I, I got a dragon and a what's name. Put both back, kill one. You know and then pretty much go off because i already got two beatrice on board so now i can do whatever i want graveyard loaded up i have a board i have a draw card now it depends on what i draw draw mizuki even better bam hand destruction drew the plague even better so i said you know what no we're not going to use what's the name we're not even going to use the upstart because we don't need to look at that just so good like ill blood is amazing good good card like bam otk once again just like that it's, it's just really the OTK. I'm telling you, two sixes in a, in a Mali is just too good. All right, I know I'm sounding like a broken horse. I mean, broken record. I don't know why the hell I thought a horse. I know I'm thick. Uh, what's the name? I know I'm sounding like a broken record. Keep saying that, but I'm just saying. I'm just trying to really emphasize the point of this card being just very amazing. And this is, I'm probably going to throw a black rose in here or something. I don't know. I'm going to try to do something. So here you go. This man messed up and hit the wrong card. If you would have hit this, it would have been, uh, what, an extra turn? So. Here we go, draw the Vampire Grace, uh, flip, go to the 6 star first, bait, try, pretty much trying to bait out the back row, but then I draw into the mid. And this is exactly why, this is, Sokka is, is really good too, so now, bam, Beatrice sends the Sokka, Dragon, pop, Tear of Decree, so now I'm like, mm, it doesn't matter. This is not once returned by the way, so, once again, 
just really helped out. Calcab, return that, bam. Go again. Sindo, what's the name? Sin Parker? Yep, Sin Parker, banish that. Still have another bus name. Still have a Plague Engrave, all that. Just soak his Oh, man. Love this deck. Deck is just phenomenal. Like I said, I took out the dealings and put in Twin Twister because if you do want to play a tournament style setting, not setting, but if you want to play in the tournament, I believe you're going to need Twin Twister. If you want to take this regionals, Twin Twister is the way to go. I don't think dealings should. I mean, you could take this side Twin Twisters, but I just prefer to have Twin Twisters. So, yeah, that is the Beatrice Turbo Zombie deck, I believe. Yeah, let's call it Beatrice Zombie Turbo. Ah, we're going to call it that. Um, yeah, actually, you should already see that on the title of the other video, so I don't know why I said that. But uh, yeah, that is it for today. On Friday, I will be back. I'll just do some live duels on Friday with this deck to show you, you know, that, uh, you know, it's not really hard to really pull off these combos or to actually get this in because they actually come very, very often. There's a lot of replays I didn't even save because my opponent just quit. Like, it was just two turns, like, they just quit. I just got these replays mainly just to show off the deck. So, yeah. Live duels are coming on Friday. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and two part of the Beatrice Zombie Turbo deck. Um, I appreciate Billy Williams for giving me the um, to give me the deck list. And before we get out of here, we're gonna just show the deck list. And bam, here we go. Like I said, I took out the dealings and put in the twin twisters. So shout out to um, Billy Williams, like I put the name right here for this deck list. He sent me the deck list and told me, you know, just try this out. So it's all shout out to go to him. You know, go subscribe to his channel or, you know, leave him a comment, whatever, say what's up, I don't know, whatever you guys want to do. Like I said, I owe all this to him. Uh, I'm really, really enjoying this deck, so definitely going to be back here Friday with some more duels. And like I said, if you guys ever want me to try out a zombie variant of a deck, something to do with zombies, I really don't like to focus on too much of other decks because I'm really trying to just perfect zombies so I can be the best I can with my main deck. And then probably I'll play some other fun deck like a Diamond Dude Turbo or some, something different. But like I said, send me a deck list of um, something you guys would like me to play or test out or try to improve or whatever the case may be. I'll be gladly to do it in a timely fashion. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Click the ad to help support the channel and help support me. Very appreciated of it. If you do, if you don't, st still appreciate that you clicked on this video. So. Uh, yeah, I will be back Friday with some more duels, and that is it. Um, hopefully you guys can pretty much see all this, and I am out.